What's up, guys? John here with Big Drew Titan Lifestyle. Big Drew Titan Lifestyle. It's Friday. We're here again. We've got some cra crazy topics. Oh, yeah, man. Crazy it's, topics. We like, say that every week, but this week, there really are some crazy topics. So It's nuts. Yeah, it's like, going to be crazy. Every day, is like you wake up to something new that's totally like outside the boundaries of what you thought was out of control. Yeah, it just keeps week, getting more. And some of the stuff is just simple things you think someone would never do. This is true. And then when they do them, now it's like, yeah, this is true. You gotta be careful with you know, yeah. doctors and all that stuff. Be careful with everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, guys, before we start, we want to just wrap up our weekend. Our weekend was pretty busy, especially Saturday. It was a great weekend. We had the fashion show. Yep. The whole Titan team went out there. We walked the runway. I was on the runway. I had a lot of fun. Shout out to all the people at the event that put the event on. Oh, yeah. It was a great show. It was a great venue. Uh, yeah, it was good. Scott was, was awesome. out there, got some footage. Art was out there, got some footage. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's coming yeah, soon. Was, uh, loaded up in the limo, and it was a good time. It, it was, was a good time. It was fun. Busy. So we had Iron Bay Classic earlier in the day, yeah. and then we uh, we headed over to the St. Pete Art and Fashion Week, the fashion show presented by Titan Medical Center. Yes. Drew was one of our awesome models walking down the runway. This is year number two down, so now you're a veteran. Yeah. I walked the runway. We'll just say that. I, I did walk. Twice. Yeah. Twice. It's and awkward. he showed those abs. It's awkward. Yeah, I had to hit him with the abs shot, but it was, that's the only thing I could really do. I didn't. I don't know how to walk and do all that. So. Oh, man. It was great. fun, though. It was a lot of fun. Great. Good energy in the room. Music was good. I like it. It was yeah, fun. Yeah, for sure. It was definitely a good time. Awesome performances by everybody that was involved. It was put off without, without a, a snag. Uh, it was just, it was awesome. And I was kind of worried about it because we had to do two shows this year instead of one because of COVID yeah. and all the other stuff that went along with that. So... Really, really good time. If you guys have not seen it or you guys weren't there, we got new content coming at you, a full yeah. video officially by Titan Medical Center will be out there. Yeah. But there's some videos out there already. Really, really good ones Jason Skelton made um, and some other people. So at that point. Yeah, we got some uh, art put together, a crazy, like. Oh, yeah, we got a mix. Background video yep. from the hotel room. Everybody was in there, remember it. But our camera was just kind of up. Everybody was just kind of mingling. Just kind of yeah. it, was it wasn't anything planned. Everybody was just you know doing their thing. But uh, we don't know if we can release it yeah. just yet. Yeah. But I may give you guys clips. Pieces it's coming. Here and there. It's coming. It's, it's a good coming. video though. It was fun. You fun. guys will love it. I Lois promise. Lane you. was in there too. It was it was it was a good video. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was in there. It looked like so it was really really good. You guys will check it out. Let us know what you think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's get into this awesome tight last episode this Friday. All right. So end of summer specials. So the summer specials include Titan Up, ECA Sack Plus, and the Titan Fat Burner Cream. Yeah. Now, you guys can mix and match some of these combinations, get discounts by doing that, and you guys can still get that summer body, even though we're past summer. You know, get the jump start on it now, or if you live in a warm area like Florida, yeah. you're going to have warm weather. I mean, till, I mean, I would say till the end of at least October, November, I, I probably, right? Actually, all year round, if you think about it, depending on what time of, what time of day it is. I mean, even in the December, you can go to the beach. It's, it's true. 80 degrees certain days, uh, December, January. So I challenge people to keep that summer body going. Oh, yeah. A lot of times people just getting safe for the summer. I yeah. challenge you guys, keep that summer body going. Keep your routine going. Keep your yeah. diet or whatever you want to call it going. Yeah. And go into the fall with that. Why not stay in shape? Even if it's about to start snowing where you live, yep. why not just stay in shape and keep it going, keep that momentum going? You come back next year, look even crazy, get into a swing of it. Uh, Don't just get in shape for the summer, come off. So the Titan Summer Special yep. is good for everybody. Yep. Like you want to get lean, you want to stay healthy and all the time. Yep. It's a summer special because it happened in the summer. Like right. In terms of the money, it was cheap. Right. It's still cheap now. Yeah. So, I mean, I would jump on it. It I'll doesn't have to be summer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even, even if you guys listen, even if you guys don't want the summer body, even for energy, yeah. focus, right? Staying lean, nervous system support. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different things in these therapies as far as ECA Stack Plus, which is a great therapy by itself for all those things. Then you have Tighten Up, which has a branch chain amino acid in it. There's essential amino acid. It has different amino acids in there to help you. Other vitamins like B-complex and stuff. Mm -hmm which are going to do you guys really good no matter what, you know. And then the Titan Fat Burning Cream, you can use this to a whole bunch of different areas. Guys and girls can use it. The first package, you can get all three for 400 bucks. So at that point, you get all three therapies, ECA Stack Plus. You'll get Titan Up, which is a 30-shot therapy package, and you'll get the Titan Fat Burning Cream. So topical, oral, and injectable, you'll get all three methods to help you guys lose that weight, stay lean, get focused, uh, clean energy, and just give your body what it needs. So and I mean, the fat burning cream too. You could also use it to tighten loose skin in certain areas. Oh yeah. 
It doesn't just have to be for fat burning. It's 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 uh, gentle enough. You could actually put it underneath your yeah. eyes. If you get back underneath your eyes or your neck. Yeah. If any place it's like you know loose skin, so to speak. Yeah. If you lost a lot of weight and had a lot of loose skin, you just have loose skin certain place because you lost a lot of water weight. Yeah. You know, getting ready for a show. A lot of times people have that loose skin. They get lean. They're not holding water, but their skin's still kind of kind of rubber band like he's kind yep. of moving around that will tighten that right Elasticity, up so, the yeah, issues exactly. there for so sure helps with tightening skin too not just the fat burning yeah so that i mean that's how it works a tight fat burning cream what you do is you apply it to the area guys and girls and you can apply it to any areas like drew said neck uh you know some face like underneath the eyes and stuff like that um don't get it in your eyes but underneath yeah for sure um and what it does is it shrinks the fat cells in the area dehydrates the area it gives it a more aesthetically pleasing look um, if you have cellulite in the area for the girls and stuff like that, this is great for the back of the legs, underneath, you know, right, right, right underneath, right underneath your 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 your, your glute. Uh, so yeah. at that point, you're, you're good to go, and it will work um, pretty pretty much the whole day. And you can apply it to these different areas that you want to do. You can also wrap an elastic elastic band, uh, yeah. squeam. Um, you know, the old school was uh, Reynolds wrap. Remember that? Yeah, old school. <laughs> now you just got to throw on some. Cream will let it do the work for you. That's it, You don't man. have to move around as much. That's it. So it'll, it, It's not itchy, too. One thing I will yeah. say. Some it doesn't of these, burn. Some of these creams I put on, like my skin sensitive, yeah. you know, if I'm shaving for bodybuilding or whatever, it's like it's it just irritates me. Yeah. This one doesn't do that. I mean, like I said, you could, if you could put it underneath your eyes, it doesn't irritate your eyes. It's not going to irritate your skin Absolutely. whether you shave or not. It's not going to have that burning feeling. A lot of times people attribute burning with it's automatically working. Right. Well, you like automa- like what are you going to rub hot sauce on your eyes? <laughs> And yeah, it's burning. Yeah, it's burning, but it's not fat burning. Like, Give no, it's not jalapenos. Yeah, it's not actual thermogenic. This is actually helped with a thermogenic process. Right. It's different than just a burning effect. Absolutely. So even though you don't, you may feel things that itch and burn more than this. Yes. It doesn't mean they're working more. It just means no. they're more uncomfortable for you. No. I mean, you should know within a couple of minutes of this stuff tightening the skin and stuff like that. And like you said, no burning. Yeah. So that was one thing I, I see. That somebody, I hate those. Things. And this is all prescribed. So Preparation you can't even, H and all yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> you can't even get this over the counter as far as the combination of the yeah. ingredients in there. So, you know, one's phosphatidylcholine, which is a huge one. Um, but at that point, like, so if it burns, it, it shouldn't have to burn, right? Yeah. You shouldn't have to do that to get a great effect. Yeah. You don't have to, all right? And then tighten up. We talked about MYC, methionine, inositol, choline, B-complex, B12, leucine, and L-carnitine. So that yeah. one's a great injectable. It was one of our first tight medical signature therapies yeah, that came like out. Yeah, like one of the original ones. It now it's, it, that used to be as as it was. Yeah. Standalone was the thing. Absolutely. Now it's like. Absolutely. It's now we, we just increase it even more. Tight and complete after that. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it's been, it's been awesome as far as the therapies. So, end of summer specials. Take advantage of them. The discounts will be going away in about a week or so. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of days because it's Friday. I'll give you guys next week. And that's it. We're done with that. We'll be off to Daytona next week, so that's gonna, yeah. that's gonna be the end of the show. We'll talk about that, but we'll see you guys out there. Um, food and diet best for overall health. So this was something I read today. You know, I mean, basically they, they said in this article that you know everybody wants to have better health and weight loss because of COVID and everything that's going on. It's made people realize that you know it's not good to have health problems or be overweight because it creates health problems mm. so um you it's know good if, to take it's it's funny that we actually get something good out of it you always say so bad or bad but it's actually people are a lot more health conscious a lot yeah. more clean a lot more you know not just with the spread of covid in general germs yeah. in general it's not yeah. just the covid thing but yeah it's a lot of people are it's more awesome so i like it i like it, the fact that it actually helped it, it you know, did. i'm washing my hand my hands are I gotta change lotions because my hands are raw from right? washing all day long. Either from it's, yeah, it's from like I'm so sanitizer or washing it. I mean, it's it's. If consistent. I go to another gym and I sit down, I stand. It's kind of sticky. I'm automatically like, eh. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into that sticky subject later. Too. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you know, they said that it's been very hard for people to lose weight because you know their diet's not correct. Um, you no know, medications that may, might be causing it. What's up, Stacy? So, you know, the big thing about this is that they've want, went back to, well, it's people eating. The foods that you eat, you know, you are what you eat, that old saying that From we talk about to all feet. the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so people are starting to get back to health conscious by eating better foods. And this is helping them cause, you know, some, some natural weight loss, good weight mm-hmm. loss. You know, so at that point, go back to good food sources. Unprocessed yeah. food is the best food if you can do it. You know, if you're out, I mean, there's no excuses. Make yeah. your food at home. Take it with you. 
I mean, if Drew can do it, I can do it. Anybody else can do it. You yeah. can do it. If you can't or you say you can't, you're being lazy. Yeah. It just what, it is what it all comes down to at that point. You know, th- there's nobody that can fake, fake it or make it as yeah. far as health or aesthetic yeah. wise. I mean, you can get surgeries and transform some areas, mm. but as far as internal health, yeah, yeah. that's that's priceless, man. I mean, and that's it, even more reason that I mean, for your blood work and get your blood to be regular. A lot of times people will take aspirin or they'll take a, you know, a certain medication that's not necessarily healthy right. because it solves their headache right away. Right. When it comes to food and nutrition, it takes more time before your body to get clicking for everything to start working. Absolutely. So if I have a headache, I can't just you know have a couple slices of tomato and it goes away. It takes time. Right. So when you get your blood level checked and everything starts getting regular, you, know, you start eating a certain way over about three or four months, you're like, I haven't had a headache in a couple months. Yeah. It takes time. To go. Most people don't have that. You know, they, don't, they can't stick through the, the beginning process. The reason why, you know, the same reason why if someone works out, they get real sore. They can't get through that. They can't get through the beginning process of it or, you know, anything they do. So a lot of times when people are, um, oh, I tried the food thing for my sickness. I tried to f- for my headache or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. They have to give it time. It's not just like an instant thing. Right. Like that. I think it's, it's like numbing. Nowadays. I don't want to numb my elbow. Yeah. I don't want to take a pain medication that's going to numb my elbow. I want to put some TV 500 or something like that that's going to fix the elbow. Right. So you don't want to numb your headache. You want to fix it by fixing it. You take the antioxidants right. and all the vegetables and the correct diet and hydration, you know, sleep and everything like that. And then it starts happening. So people just want the quick fix. And that's why everything's, I feel like that's why everything's getting, oh, you know, messed up with I it. agree with you 100%. Yeah. And people have been too accustomed to instant gratification these yeah. days. Me, me. I'm, I'm, I mean, we I'm, like instant gratification. I'm to it. Yeah, yeah. Right? I yeah. mean. You know, it is what it is. I mean, whether it's Hercules Potion, you get a fast pump and keep it a pump. Or, I was just thinking ECA. Right? <laughs> ECA is like kicking yeah. in. You know, you feel it immediately. You're yeah. getting the effect. Where, you know, things that take time are, you know, are, are, are yeah. things that are worth it, you know. I, I told Sharice, and I tell her all the time because she's really impatient about things. Um, and I told her, I'm like, listen, I was like, you know, what you put in today, you're going to get out tomorrow. you got to plant the seeds. you got to, yeah. I mean, if it's a problem, you got to get to the root of the problem, find out the problem, fix the problem, mm-hmm. not just keep covering it up. Um, so I mean, it's, it's it's so true, you know. I mean, what you put in is what you'll get out. Yeah. You know, 100. Yeah. percent If you think you're just gonna be able to go in the gym like once, and then at that point you're sore and you stop, you're exactly. not gonna get anywhere. Yeah. You can't quit. Um, you know, I tell my son that all the time. I mean, if it was if it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah. But eating should be easy, and eating better yeah. foods is especially training your body. Hydration. Oh, for I sure. I mean, especially hydration. Water is free, and you know. You hear people say water's not free or there's bottle. Yeah, there's bottled water that you have to pay for, but for the most part, water is free. Right. I mean, you buy a Brita filter and the water comes out of your faucet free. Right. So, or if you go to a anywhere you go, you go to you the those cheap filtration systems and fill up with tap water and filter yeah, your water too. But anywhere, is, right? I mean, even filtered water. There's water fountains everywhere. I mean, there's water is free, so there's no reason why you can't hydrate. Yeah. Food is one thing; it costs money, this and that. But I mean, water is literally free everywhere you go. Yeah. All you need to do is just. Have a jug to yeah. put it into. I mean, it's literally container free. of some sort, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't got to be. If if, if it gets to the point where you know, I I I can either spend money on food or water or, and drink like some you know water out of a fountain somewhere or whatever, right. as long as it's filtered. Obviously, yeah. I'm not saying drink out of the tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll take the whatever cheap water, free water, and yeah. go with the food. Yeah. As opposed to buying some, you know. Expensive water. You know. Mountain Valley. I mean, I, that mountain Valley. <laughs> that, that is my water, though. <laughs> I love that one. But if I, I'm saying if it gets to that point, if it got to the point where I'm going to be like, okay, I'm only going to eat half the food because this water is, you know, this is a $5 water. Right. But I'm going to eat half the food. Nah, put that $5 into the, into the food or whatever type of nutrition you need absolutely to go right back to what we were saying to make yourself feel better absolutely so food is key you know that's Drink. one of the foundations and yeah. hydration of course um, that goes right along with bag. food and come get a bag if you get lazy IVs <laughs> we can do IVs in house if you guys are in the area what's up James Adele Victor how you guys doing I had one last week the IV I was feeling weird I was dehydrated nauseous we were even going to push the show back it gave me an ID you saw it in my, in my, uh, in my veins from last yeah. week I felt great. Right after was great from it. Yeah. Boom! Instant. That was instant gratification. Yep. Yeah. A little Zofran, yeah. some B vitamins, antioxidants, good I, to go. I, I trust him in my life. I don't know what, I don't know what the doctors put in there. But <laughs> looked like Gatorade, but it, and it felt better than Gatorade. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. man. Good stuff. Um, all right. So recovery is key. So we talked Definitely. about this. Yeah. You know, um, when I see people that uh, I, I hear a lot of times people. 
I make sure I get enough rest before I go to the gym, make sure I get my pre-workout before I go to the gym, or my carbs or fat or my energy or whatever they do before they go to the gym. A lot of times when they leave, they're not in a rush to eat, they're not in a rush in a rush, um, in a rush to rest. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, recovery is key just as much as your preparation and going to the gym. For and sure. going back into what we're saying, to be consistent with both is off the, obviously the most optimal way to do it. Yep. But your recovery is key. You can't go to the gym and as soon as you're done working out, stand around, talk for an hour, go run errands for an hour, come home, take a shower, do this and that, and then now eat. It's already, you're already past your window. Right. You have to hit that recovery time. So you need to bring it, bring something with you to the gym, bring some food, bring a, you know, some whole eggs, some egg white shake, whatever you need to do. Get that recovery in, and also your sleep too. Oh, you yeah. can't go to the gym, sleep you know. Is key, man. And, and if you're on a schedule where you have to go to sleep at a certain time, don't take your ECA and stuff late at night. Mm -hmm. You know, don't take it. I would say past seven. Mm -hmm. I could do like seven as late as I'll take mine, um, depending on my schedule. But you have to have your rest. You have to have your nutrition after you work out. You can't just get everything in your body and get ready to go to the gym and go and kill it then afterwards just chill. Right. You have you have to and you have to be, you know, consistent with it. you have to be every day, you know, on time. As soon as you're done working out, if you're trying to build muscle or, you know, depending on what it is you're trying to do. I'm not saying bikini competitors should as soon as they're done, go eat two cups of rice and a steak. No, no yeah. whatever you have to do, get some get something in your body. Yeah. So your recovery is it, it recovery some sort of protein everything. source and everything yeah, like yeah. that. Like the older a, I get, the more I realize my recovery is almost more important than my preparation. I could wake up first thing in the morning, and kind of go to the gym mm -hmm. with a little bit in my stomach, even though I'm not supposed to, or not really mm -hmm. that much sleep, even though I'm not supposed to. Right. But my recovery has to be on point. Right. Because if I'm not eating or right after the weight, the whole rest of my day is ruined. My right. mood's off. And I can't get back in that routine to the next day. Yep. So it's almost like the day is gone. I agree. You know, if you have a cut, you have to, you know, put Neosporin or whatever you do on that cut, step back and let it heal. You can't just keep scratching it. For sure. A lot of times people just keep banging, banging, banging and never have a chance to heal. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, it's definitely the key. I mean, recovery, like you said, like training. And then what I like to do is get like a, a shake in real quick, like, you know, within the first hour is what they yeah. say I recommend. I like to get in within the first half an hour at least mm -hmm. or food at that point but optimally for me it's getting a shake in and then two hours later eating a, a meal or maybe an hour later it just depends because i get hungry afterwards yeah. so you want to feed your body the nutrients it needs it's absorbing these nutrients and breaking down these nutrients so your body can recover and obviously sleep goes along with that because when you sleep that's when you grow that's when exactly. you recharge yeah. that's when you heal the best i mean that's you know that's definitely where it's at and it's the right sleep too so you know, it sucks when your, your sleep patterns are messed up. You're waking up every hour. That's not good healthy sleep. That's not good for recovery. Yeah. And then, like you said, banging away. And, like, you can't keep going to the gym day after day and working out chest and, and develop a bigger, better chest. Mm. You might get some development in there, but it's yeah. not going to be as good as if you gave it proper rest and let yeah. those muscles grow back. Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I heard someone on my inbox the other day on Instagram talking about, you know, I was talking about recovery and this and that. We're having a conversation going back, a former client of mine. And he was saying that he was referring it to Kai Green, how he can go to the gym and squat twice a day. Mm -hmm. And he could train in the morning, train at night, mm -hmm. and his recovery, this and that. But he, he failed to realize that Kai Green eats literally more than any bodybuilder. Maybe Juan Morales can eat more than man. him. But Kai Green literally eats constantly all yeah. day long. Like I, He's got Tupperware with him all day long. He doesn't, he doesn't need a microwave. He'll pop it on one. Eat. He's literally feeding his body all day long. If you're feeding your body enough and resting enough, you can do that. Right. If you're taking two or three naps during the day oh, yeah. and eating seven or eight meals, and yeah. that's your only job to yeah. do. I'm not yeah. saying you know, Kai's busy or whatever, yeah. but he can. Like Then, yeah. yeah. So when I say recovery, you know, just like what, what John was saying, like, you, ha you can go to the gym and bang it out every day, but you have to know what you're doing every right. day. You can't just grind away at your elbows every single right. day and not eat and not, you know, do any type, take any type of therapies or anything yeah. to recover things. So even if you're training more often, then you need to recover more often. Absolutely. You need to eat more often. You need to sleep more often. So everything has to be, you know, optimal more and more and more. So the more you train, the more it's going to take. You can't just look at, I'm going to work out four hours a day. I'm going to go two in the morning, two at night. You can't look at that and say, that's all I'm going to do for the day. Because mm -hmm. if you're working out two hours a morning, two hours a night, now you need to think about, I need to get an extra two or three hour nap in the middle of the day, and I need to get an extra two or three meals in to, to make up for that. So right. pretty much your whole day from morning to night is going off of those two workouts. Yeah. 
A lot of people don't have that schedule. No, they if can't, they can't that, afford that schedule. Yeah, they, a lot of people can't afford. Some people can, some people do. I know personally, some people do that do. Yeah. But a lot of people can't do that. So even if the more you work out, the more you recover. I mean, it is what it is. It, I mean, you work out, you sleep, you recover. That, that's yeah. what you feed your body. That, that's one of the most important things, obviously, in the nutrients. So that's key, man. So get your foundations down: training, yes. nutrition, sleep, right, and everything will come along with that. Uh, and optimal levels and everything. That's mm. that's just a, a, a basic. You guys should know that. Illegal drugs and peptides. Well, I skipped over one. No Jones versus Tyson. Yeah, I don't know why Roy Jones getting scared. I, I mean, he's seen that video of Tyson. Everybody Come got on. scared. Uh, you know? Is look, this all it's all hype? Too, it's too late now. You're a boxer. You know what you're getting yourself into. I mean, Roy Jones Jr., he's, listen, this guy's boxed against a lot of people before, so... And it's just, you know, I think everybody's just scared of Tyson. He has that intimidation factor because when he was out in the 90s, I mean, he was going after people like Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. As far as that goes, I like beat, I mean, you know, knocking him out and stuff like that. You know, obviously when he got out of jail, he started fighting um, uh, uh, Vander Holyfield. Yeah. When he bit Vander Holyfield's ear off yeah. in the, in the yeah. it was the rematch. See, I think if Gus, if Gus would have stuck around a little longer, if he would have... I think he would, Tyson would have been on. I, I think I, I think, think that was his only well, one I, that could really tame him. And, I think know. jail ruined him. Yeah, yeah that too. That, that too. ruined him because he was yeah, on top, too. right? And then when he got in trouble, and he went to jail. He was in Indianapolis, so it was at the pageant. You know, basically yeah. this girl came to his room. She said he had some sexual you know, assault or some shit like that. Excuse Robin, my language. Robin it was Robin Givens, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Robin Givens. She was his, she was his wife at one time. Right? Was it? Was it that yeah, one? That was his wife. Yeah, I remember they had the live interview and she was saying that he was a monster. And oh, he, yeah, I do remember that. Oprah, just, I think yeah. it was on Oprah. Yeah, so anyway, so Tyson's came back. You know, now check this out. I was I was checking out um, a little bit after this. Now, he went on Joe Rogan's podcast show. Um, I think it was like a week after the video launched that, you know, showing that, that hard workout and stuff he was doing. And he basically said that he would wake up crying because he was in so much pain. Like, check it out. Bring it up, Art. Who did that? Who's, who's that? Joe Rogan. No, no, who was the one that said Mike that? Tyson. Really? Yes. Okay. He said, you know, after that video, he's like, you know, he's like, basically, I, I woke up in pain, like, like, I've never felt before, like, it's just agony and stuff Ooh. like that. Tyson. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's the heart, that's yep. the animal. Yeah, was it? in pain. He cried for a week in bed because of the physical pain caused by boxing training, video he filmed earlier this year. So it's just kind of crazy, oh, you know. That one that everybody was looking at. Right, that Roy Jones got scared of. I mean, everybody's seen that video. Like, uh oh, this is the old Tyson. He's coming back, you know. So at that point, you know, you know, he said, you know, he was in a lot of pain. He said, you know, he's still doing but, his thing because that's that's just the professional. And he, I, he's I been think there. that's just in him. The fact that he was in that much pain and he he didn't look like he was in that much pain. Oh, yeah. Like he could just his mind can just click on. And he's not feeling anything. He's yeah. going. Oh yeah. That just tells you that that's not going away. That's in his yep. head. Like he's gonna be crazy. So after that video, he's feeling he's feeling Roy a week of I pain. Think Roy Jones a little bit. I think he just needs to just shut up. Both of them just train. Yeah. Have a real train. Boxing. Fight it out. You know. At that point, Roy Jones looks like he's kind of scared. Uh, I don't. I don't know why he would do this. He's really gonna get his head taken off. All he has to do is just fall down once he gets popped one time, and that's it. Yeah. Done deal. He can't though. He's got a legacy to uphold too. Well, he he better he better get on his legacy to. <laughs> they both have a legacy. They both yeah. got a legacy exactly, yeah. and Tyson definitely wants to. I think he wants to take another one. I don't think I think Tyson's got way more like. Oh yeah, he's got legacy. knockout power, dude. Yeah. Not just his fighting, his legacy, just yeah. the name Tyson, yeah. his whole yeah. everything. Yeah. And Roy Jones had a better career. Yeah, I used to like. I mean, Roy you Jones. know. Victory, as far as that goes, I mean, longer career for sure. Tyson was always outside. Tyson was just a highlight reel. He was yeah, heavy less duty of a reach. heavyweight champion of the world. Like yeah. that's like the biggest one where Roy Jones was not the heavyweight champion of the world. So I mean, that's just it is yeah, what it no is. More heavyweights like like big. there is. It's just we don't know who they are because yeah, boxing is underneath like, the rug. Yeah. I remember when I was little, seeing like like heavyweights was the only. It was like a big deal, that like was, watching fight yeah. big guys. Boxy matches. Fight. When now you were I watch these fights. That I was, mean, no that disrespect to Floyd Mayweather, you're a great fighter and all, but. I was your size in like fourth grade. <laughs> I can't watch a fight like that in like you know. Yeah. I, can't, I don't know. It's it like, just go, it goes to full rounds at that at that point, you know. And uh, I can watch it. I can watch usually. it. But as soon as they get near the the side of the ropes and they're like the ropes aren't too far from their shoulders, and I realize these guys are like 
120 pounds. <laughs> it's just, and then the thing is, it's not even about the size. It's about the knockout power. Right. You know, if a guy's 250 and he hit any any one good hit, you're out. Yep. If those guys that are 130, 140, yep. they, might, they could get a good clean shot and they may not have that direct. Power. Some of them do, but not all of them. Right. You know, when you're 250 and you're a pro fighter, all of your fights. Oh, yeah. Every last hit could be it. You like, got a lot more weight behind you, momentum. Yeah, it's like yeah. Barry Sanders yeah. or Deion Sanders or, you know, yeah. home run yeah. Dante Hall when he played for the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Like, you don't know if he gets the ball, he's going to go all the way. Every time Titan... Tyson puts on those gloves. Gets in that ring. You better oh, watch out. man. This is going to be a good one. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So we will see here. It better happen, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> happening pretty soon, I, I believe, in October. Bring it to Tampa like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> right at the Marriott. That's right. Right down the street. <laughs> Amelia Arena has opened up, I think. So, all right. So I can't wait to see that one. Two, two you know, Hall of Fame boxers. going to be awesome. Two, yeah. two awesome legacies. We're going to see who wins. And hopefully nobody chickens out. Uh, illegal drugs and peptides pulled from Amazon. Okay, so this is really funny that I read this article. Um, so what's been happening is, is since last year, Amazon has let third-party sellers distribute like BPC-157, TB-500, and an injectable, um, and other research chemicals. So these research chemicals were fine, and Amazon was saying, listen, we're, we're selling these because they were for research and stuff like that. We're letting them do it. Mm -hmm. But when you went to these people's profiles or their websites or where they were selling these products, it was basically, it, it's basically you know, for human consumption at that mm -hmm. point. And they're not supposed to be you know, by these companies. And so Amazon started pulling the listings down. Now, just ironically, I did an interview about this. Art was in the room, I think yeah. like two weeks ago. And uh, you know, it was somebody from California that worked for a uh, publication. And at that point, they started asking me about this in particular hmm. because they have been, they've been doing research on Amazon and the stuff that's been going on. And basically, they wanted to see, like, hey, listen, what do we think about it and stuff like that? Because everything we do is doctor prescribed, comes from the U.S. licensed pharmacy and stuff like that. So it's not a research chemical for research purposes for human consumption. I don't know who would do that? Who would have enough faith in Amazon? Well, I mean, send them something in the mail. With well, no I mean, well, no, I mean, a lot of it's people crazy. do. A lot of people do this anyway. They go to yeah. these research and chemical sites online and stuff yeah. like that. They're researching on you. You're the lab rat. Uh, yeah, they're, they're sending chemicals to you that they got from China. I mean, there's no testing done on those chemicals. Yeah. Everybody, like, some people contact us and they talk to us about BPC one five seven or TB five hundred, or maybe MK. And uh, at that point, you're like, well, listen, I, I see a vial online for $40. I'm like, listen, man, that's not tested. I'm like, yeah. not the same thing as a research. I mean, clearly on the bottle, it says not for human consumption, not for human use. So, you know, if you are that ballsy, I guess, or desperate to take something online like that, yeah. you know, you guys are risking it. You know, I mean, I see it a lot. I get questions about it a lot. Uh, I see a lot of it. So it's just a real great area out there. Um, but, you know, with... These publications coming out here like this, it's going to be brought to the light, and man, DEA is going to step in one one point or the other. I, I, yeah. I definitely see that coming. So, we will see how it goes. But they pull, they're starting to pull these listings. So, guys, make sure if you guys are getting injections, injectables, you're getting from a proper source and prescribed, monitored. You know where it's coming from. Don't take a risk with your health. And make sure you're taking it as it's as it's directed to. Right. Right. Don't just automatically say, oh, my name's on the label or my name's yeah. on the container or whatever the type of prescription you have so I can take as, as much as I want. <laughs> right, right. Take it as, as it's directed. If you have questions, talk to whoever prescribed you that or whoever you're dealing with with that. Yes. So, And we can help you out with, with some of these peptides and stuff like that. If you have questions about that, we service nationwide. Call or text 727-389-3220. All right, so this was another crazy one that me and Drew were talking about earlier today. Fertility doctor uses his own sperm on patients, and they found out about it. Yeah. Crazy. That, the thing is, is when I first heard about it, I thought it was like, it was almost, it didn't hit me right away. Yeah. And then I realized, it's crazy, but it's so, it's probably something that happens a lot. Right. Because doctors have, you know, doctors have so much access to people. I know. Man. I mean, especially I mean, with this stuff. Who, who... Hearing this now changes a lot of stuff. You know I, mean, I mean, all, all these doctors are getting acute. Like, I, I just seen another one of this doctor who got got in trouble um, because, and he has worked on presidential candidates. That um, he was giving these women exams 
exams mm. that were not proper exams and basically fondling them and and, and doing stuff that he wasn't supposed to be doing. Yeah, like the the, uh, the gymnastics coach from the US. That was one. This is a new guy. I mean, these 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 are starting because yeah. people now when you go into a doctor, right? You really don't know how these things are supposed to be done. Well, how are they yeah, supposed to do this test? Unless you went to like med school, you went right. through procedures. Yeah, yeah, yeah unless yeah. you have some inside source and you know what's going on behind the curtain, yeah. you really don't know. You have blind faith in the doctor. You trust the medical the provider that's in front of you, and they yeah. say do this and do that. And some things might be a little uncomfortable. You know, it is what it is. But they have to check these things to make sure they're all right. Mm. Um, but you know, this is just another thing where it loses trust in your medical provider or doctor and you really have to check on these things and now if the women are trying to get pregnant and they have a sperm donor i, I don't know if they do it random because I, I really don't know how that works as far I mean, as is this guy eggs. have any kids with his i mean i don't know who I knows mean, you know he's maybe he's just trying to make a little population of himself a little clan i i don't know but he got caught up doing it which is not good yeah that's it's not good at all. Um, and it's not what's supposed to be right. You know, your medical provider is not supposed to have any for a form of uh, relationship to this degree or be doing these things without your knowledge. And and why is there not a nurse always around when there's you know? I feel like there should be a, if situations like this are happening, there should always be a witness there. Yeah. Always someone else in the room if there's a nurse or, you know, who are, at the main, it should never be a main doctor with a, with a patient, yeah, whether it's not. male, female, yes, female, did. male, or whatever it is. I mean... So they found out because of the 23andMe uh, DNA Ancestry.com kit. They did both of them. From home DNA kits, like Ancestry.com, or like one of them. Yeah, so true. basically they did a DNA kit, they found out and what did they? What did they do? They had the doctor tested, and at that point, they well, found he was a biological his father. Mom and, or his dad and him did it, so they were and they were not biologically linked. Yeah, so as long as they oh, know, it's not, it's no. like process of elimination. Oh no! Crazy, because they were just looking for their ancestors. Oh and then found out they're no! Not oh there. no! So th this was a couple, and at that point, they were going for the I guess in vitro treatments or whatever it is using sperm and eggs. And at that point, the doctor mixed his own sperm I instead of the dad's sperm. Yeah. Oh. So what's going to happen now in the future? Like new standards and stuff? No, but I mean, a lot of people have been through that same process. They're probably going to question their doctor. Oh, my now. God. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You're gonna have this is right definitely going to open it's up. Gonna, yeah, it's going to have a, yeah. it's gonna be a whole new set of procedures yeah, now. Cases, they might start looking at other cases, and people yeah. might have to get these DNA tests and see, hey, listen, was this really our sperm and egg that were being used? And this now, is... Is now, this really my son? Yeah, whoever else has gone through that same doctor is gonna go get those tests done and do everything. What do you say to your What do you say to your son at that point? Like, hey, listen, the doctor switched the sperm. You're not really my son, but you are my son and taking care of you. That's that's freak. That's messed up. That's some messed up stuff. Yeah. Wow. So doctors like that, man. That's that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Not even cool, man. So this is just some of the crazy stuff happening in our world today. People are just are wrong. See what they're gonna do. Wow. Wow. Well, it is largely unregulated. Yeah, I will say that. You know, so, usually okay. fertility treatments and stuff like that, they charge you an arm and a leg. We usually do, except for in vitro, we don't do any of that. We're not a fertility clinic, but the exact same medications like HCG, Clomid, um, HM, HMG, which we have now, follicle stimulating hormone mm. injectable. Uh, so at that point, we have these treatments, and we have them for a lot less as far as that goes for patients. So if you guys are looking for that or you guys need help in those areas, just call or text us. All good. I, it's too late for me. <laughs> it's too late for me, but um, my beard could get a little thicker. Right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so TikTok is going away Sunday, and we connect. Makes, or we chat, excuse me. Yeah, the, I've never had TikTok. Or I've never really cared about it or really gotten into it, so I mean... But I guess it's a big deal. I mean, I, tons I mean, of people I, are on I know it. It's millions, a big deal. I'm right? just not really on it like that. I'm not a big user of it either. I think it's more younger, younger people at that point. God, yeah. I'm saying that younger people. Yeah, right. I'm getting old. Yeah, well, you say young. <laughs> <laughs> the younger people, you know. People under thirty. Like yeah, like the teenagers and stuff younger, like that. Twenty. You did just say younger. The younger people. people. <laughs> That's how I feel I'm like you know, I'm not. I'm not a kid. I'm not in my twenties no more. Yeah. I'm almost to my forties. So at that point, um, but it's a pretty big platform. Um, it's getting banned Sunday because they didn't reach a deal. Now the president said he was gonna, you know, he basically wrote 
an executive order banning these things because China is getting all this data about us mm -hmm. and using these phones to spy on us. So that's not good. Um, and the, I heard last that was Oracle was going to get the bid on it, but I don't know. We'll see how that's it goes. That's going to be the next big thing now. We'll see. Instagram's already tried to replicate it. The real? Yeah, the, the reels the real on thing. Instagram, which is pretty cool. I, I've done a little bit of it. Guys, check that out. Instagram's got all new features. Uh, but yeah, TikTok, people are going to be upset about this one for sure. Um, events coming up. So Daytona Classic coming up next weekend. Yes. I'm excited. Great show, great hotel. Yep. It's going to be a good one. I can't believe it's been a year already. New location for the show, bigger location. New location? Yeah. Yep. The hotel is great, though. Yeah, we're going to say this. Yeah. Hard Rock, right on the beach, Daytona. Hopefully we'll have good weather out yeah. there. Um, good time. But we're going to be out there. Titan's going to be representing to the max. Me, Big Drew, Art, Sharice is going to be out there. A couple of the tight nets. Uh, Jen and uh, Eva are going to be out there with us. Maybe some more people. Who knows? Frank Zane is going to be guest posing. If you guys don't know who Frank oh. Zane is, that guy's a, a classic. Yes, that's the he's legend. A legend. He's a legend. legend, legend His body-wise, yeah. I mean, he's a great yeah. physique and stuff like that. So I'm interested in seeing that because I have never seen Frank Zane pose. Yeah, it's good. A lot yeah. of the guys today, a lot of classic physique guys are – Emulating the stuff that he did, his poses. He, yeah. I think he was like one of the first guys to do the vacuum. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I think he was one of the he first is. guys yeah. to do the vacuum. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be a great show. Very it's cool. Good, good show. So if you guys are out in Daytona, you guys are coming. Come up to the booth, say hi, put your email on the iPad, get a shirt or tank top. Yeah. Might have some free leggies for some you ladies out there, and some special Nike Titan gear apparel for you guys too as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. And also, oh, yeah. thanks to everybody who came last week to the Iron Bay Classic. Oh yeah. Well, Jose, it was a great show. Oh, it was yeah. a good time. Titan Booth was over there. It was a good show. Oh, yeah. It was, good, it was definitely show. a good show. New location for that. And, yeah. Uh, the uh, Double Tree uh, Hilton, that was really good. Yeah, I had a, had a good time there. It was really good setup. Big shout out to Suntran and yeah. Jose Santiago for that event. Looking forward to next year already. Yeah. Man, time keeps One thing, by. too, I do realize about the past uh, sh couple shows I've been at, I noticed that people are hanging around now after, which is good. A lot of times, people get ready for these shows for 14 weeks, this and that. Even if it's not your, you know, the person you're cheering for, it's good to hang around a little bit because think about it. If you're, if you're coming from another state, you've got 14 weeks, yeah, you may have your mom or your dad or your girlfriend in the crowd, right. but if there's no one there because yours the last category, this and that, it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, but a, shout out to everybody at the last show. I noticed a lot of people hung around. Yeah. So even though the categories are gone, I noticed competitors come off, sit down, eat some food, watch the show. I think that's a good thing. I think a lot of competitors should start doing that. Don't just go to the show. Whether you win or lose, don't just go to the show. And, and as soon as you get off, say, okay, thank you, and just take off. Because your crowd of people is contributing to that crowd watching yeah. the show. Yeah. So it's kind of like good to, you know, linger around a little bit. You know, and, and continue watching the show. So it was good. It's good to have crowds like that. I noticed when I got there, I got I got there a little bit late, but when I when there was still the crowd was still full oh, was all the way all the way to the back. It was definitely so good. Was good. You know, for sure. It's good that people are you know staying the whole time and enjoying Absolutely. the whole show. Absolutely. So it was definitely good. So excited though. They tone the next weekend. Then after that, the weekend after that, we got world class fight league WCFLA yeah. Titan sponsored. Another MMA a fight. Uh, so this one's going to be really, really good. I want to hit the thuds. I yep. love hearing the hits. Yep. We're going to have some, we're here to see some good contact, hopefully. Uh, Rafael Garcia puts that one on for us. Um, some good matches. Tight Medical Center's got a booth there. We're going to be there. We're going to have a table. So we're looking forward to that. That's, I think, uh, at nighttime. I don't know the exact times. I think it starts at 6 or something like that. Yeah, around that Is that time. the yeah. same place? Yep. Brian, Brian Glazer, Brian JCC. Glazer. JCC. So it's right here in South Tampa, right in our neck of the woods. We yeah. ain't got to go too far, which is real nice. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be representing out there and coming to you guys. So definitely check it out. WCFLA, October 3rd. We'll yep. see you guys at the uh, Brian Glazer JCC. Uh, Mid-Florida Classic, October Halloween. 31st. Halloween, Halloween. edition. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So we're, we're trying to think about costumes we can wear. Uh because I knew there was supposed to be like a costume contest in the middle of it and stuff like that. So, interested in seeing it, um, on how it goes. Show good, good show. Beavis good and show. Butthead. Pretty good. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Drew are going to do some classic stuff. Yeah. So, guys, if you guys are not out in Orlando, come join us. Hey, listen, you guys are have a good time. Bring your favorite costume. We're going to do something afterwards, too. I have no idea. But it's going to be good. Orlando's always fun. 
You always have a good time. Deke Warner's putting that bad boy on. Yeah. Tight Medical Center presents again. Title sponsor. Come out and join us. It's going to be a great show. Uh, after that, Festivals of Speed, December 12th. That's going to be in Orlando as well. Might as well just take over Orlando, wherever we are. Yeah, everything's coming. Everything's coming to Central Florida. Tampa, yeah. Orlando, man. We're getting yeah. all the shows. But So that this is going to be our second year doing this one, too. This is at the Ritz-Carlton. It's an amazing display. They put all like the, the cars on the grass out there in the areas. It, it is really, really, really cool. We did it last year. Sorry, we're going to do it again this year because how cool it was. We're going to bring out the Titan Vet, Titan Limo, Titan, Titan Fleet is coming. Yeah. We're coming. So, uh, yeah, join us out I there. I want to see the muscle. I want to see the muscle yeah, cars. Yeah, muscle cars for sure. That. It's going to be on and popping for sure. So, hi, Mr. Fitbeard. Diamo, how you doing? Um, all right. I think that's about it. I mean, for the show this week. That's about it. We hit on all the topics. Actually, you know what we should go do? We might need to go check out that Travis Scott thing just to do it. The McDonald's thing? The McDonald's. It's it's limited. It's not going to be there anymore. I don't know if you guys have checked it out. Oh, yeah. That's Travis cool. Scott. That's cool. Travis Scott's got like a little deal with McDonald's where he has his own Travis Scott meal. Yeah. I gave up to McDonald's. Me too. Might, but I might have to do it just because it's like a limited edition. No rapper. No yeah. one's ever had that. Yeah. No one's ever done it. No, no, no. I mean, usually it's a basketball player like Michael Jordan or somebody like that that got those big contracts. But he didn't have his own meal. No. No one's had their own like no. meal. And that, you know, yeah. Travis Scott, it, 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 yeah. listen, he's a great rapper and stuff yeah. like that, but he's not the best rapper. But marketing, whoever his manager or who's deciding what he's doing or making these deals are making some huge deals. He's got to be one in the world for, I mean, the Fortnite. Fortnite yeah. The, the Fortnite concert at Fortnite, Fortnite was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, the shoes, the deal that he did with Nike, his shoes, if, I, if you go on like this app StockX or if you're not into shoes and have no idea, his shoes, they retail for like 150 bucks or 200 bucks if you can get a pair. They yeah. sell out within seconds. Yeah. After that, they go to 1000 yeah, I mean, just two thousand. I mean, just crazy amount of money. Um, with the McDonald's, I mean, he's making money off of that. I mean, there's there's just so many different things that Travis Scott's doing right now. A lot, just out of control. So big shout to Travis Scott, Simple man. Stuff too. I'm surprised no other rapper or a big time celebrity has jumped on McDonald's. Like right? that seems like the most simple thing to do. Maybe, I mean, like I said, like he's done this stuff that's like marketing wise has been, been genius. So yeah. like I said, whoever's doing those deals, man, or, he's or worldwide if it's him, yeah. hey, big ups to him. Whoever's doing those deals. Big, big, big. Yeah, big, I had big to throw up. that. You see, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, so, now, I haven't eaten McDonald's, so listen, if Drew eats it, I'll eat it. MK might be talking to me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But that's pretty much it for this week, yeah, guys. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We hit on all the topics. Yeah. Again, we'll be at the Daytona Classic next week. Come check us out. It's going to be a great time. It's at the Hard Rock, and the venue's where? What is the venue? The venue's Oceanside or Oceanside. Ocean something, right? It should be up on the screen. You can check the links. Yeah, so I, we'll have the flyer up so you guys can Ocean check Center. it out. Ocean yeah. Center. Yeah. Thank you. Ocean Center in Daytona. It's going to be awesome. Come check us out. Make sure you guys are sharing this on Facebook. You guys are sharing this along on Instagram, tagging people in it. Liking it on YouTube and subscribing on YouTube. Yep. So you guys make sure the podcast, listen to us while you're driving, working out, or maybe just sitting at your desk. Who knows? We'll fall be... asleep. You can fall asleep to me every That's night. Right. That's want. right. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You can listen to us while you're sleeping. Just put the earbuds in, press yeah. play, and just let it yeah. ride. Yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. You, can, you, you can pretend you're Amanda and just listen to me. I'm falling asleep every single night as I'm just talk, 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 talk. I'm I don't just falling have asleep. an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> Siri says she don't got an answer for that. Oh, oh, well. Hey. <laughs> All right, That's guys. it, guys. Have a great week. Have we'll a great weekend. Be safe. Next Friday. See you later. Live from Daytona.